Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be making the Void Resource Miner. We are going to go ahead and test out a few things, and first of all, I want to go ahead and get these guys working again, because right now they're not doing their job. So, uh, that breaks it. That is not what I want it to do. I want it to pick the items up. Is it actually picking the items up? It doesn't look like it is. Okay, that might be, but that's still not exactly what I want it to do. This this is for me picking them up. So this one's good to go right here. Um, it's set to generic click. Activate item. Okay, it, it worked now, but it's like not a continuous thing. Just set it always on and same with this one um, so it did break the item and, and it went in here but it just doesn't seem like it's working like it's supposed to but I don't know I'll keep an eye on it some more but I can at the moment do this and all the items for the most part go into the vacuum hopper minus this one I've just been throwing them in there at the moment but uh, we're gonna try and get the void resource miner controller tier one today um, I want to get this and I'll try and actually hook it up to this guy I think I'm gonna I think I can fit it in here pretty easily and uh, hook it up to this this basic capacitor and uh, should run for us but uh, we need to go ahead and craft a few things for it so here is the void resource miner tier one it's gonna require um, blocks of gold the in stone clear lens, which we're actually going to have to figure out how to do that real quick because uh, we need to get this actually processing right away. So, this is the enriched sand. And let's see how much of this we actually can get. Okay. I wish it let you do stacks at a time, but it really doesn't. We'll do 32. Well, we actually have more than that. Let's do 38. That seems like an okay number. Um, and we'll take that and basically just cook it up. Put this to furnace. Um, also, I went ahead and got two cows. I only had two airdrops, so I'll have to make some more to get more animals. But uh, it gave me two cows, so I got lucky there. Um, and we'll have to definitely breed them. I put them up here so it'd be a lot safer. Um, no more lightning strikes. I cannot believe we lost both our chickens and our two cows. That was... That was awful. Um, but yeah. We, uh, we're going to definitely fix this problem. We're not going to have that problem anymore. Oh, item landed on there. Now I thought, I thought the uh, iron pressure plates did not react like that to items. I thought it was only players, but I could be wrong. Of course I am wrong, because it did work. Um, but yeah. Alright, so uh, this guy, uh, it gives us two blocks of diamond. It gives us four blocks of iron, which is awesome. The assembler, which is pretty expensive in itself, and the digital guide. Um, the digital guide is okay. I'm, I mean, I'm not... I already know how to use it, so reading that information is not going to be too useful to me. But if we take a look, we need the laser core, which we're just waiting on the glass, which is probably done by now. Uh, block of quartz, which I know we have some in our inventory. This guy, which is just some of that glass block of iron, a block of diamond, which we have, and four blocks of gold. Now, the blocks of gold... Um... Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna get us. Okay, so we're gonna have to go on a search for nine more gold. But before we do that, I would love to make a potion of night vision so I can get some night vision. Um, I do have 11 levels. Um, let's look up how to make the potion of night vision. All right, potion of night vision. Let's look up night vision. There we go. Potion of night vision. So we need a golden carrot with aqua potions. So golden. Um, I think it's a carrot with nuggets. Wrapped around it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 
That's what it is. Okay, so we have, oh, we're also gonna need blaze powder. I'll just take all three. Um, we'll need bottles. Or, th yeah, three water bottles. Perfect, we have everything we need. All right, um, these are mundane. We need awkward. And to get awkward potions, it is another wart. We do have some of that. Okay, so simple. Simple, simple, simple. Let it do some brewing. It'll get going. We can go ahead and get some of the other stuff crafting. We are going to have to go get gold, unfortunately. Because um, we currently don't have any. We don't have an... Oh, yeah, we do. We have gold grit. Oh, I don't even have to go searching. I still want to make the night vision, though. Um, don't get me wrong. I still want to make the night vision. Um, oh, man, we have a bunch of gold. I'm not too worried about all that. Um, man, we have... We're loaded. We're doing pretty good. Even with diamond, all these nuggets. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I almost forgot. We have tons of nuggets as well. Um, I need to get a bucket while we're in here. Um, cause this guy will run. You just need some water. And, uh, somebody was saying, use the sink. Why are you using the sink? I can't get any water out of the sink. So, I've tried. Um, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I'm trying. And nothing happens. I'm pretty sure it's disabled. Um, for the main fact of water is finite and they want it to be finite and it to be a limited resource so that's probably why it's like that just my guess but for now that's that's how it's working all right so these guys are awkward now let's turn them into night vision potion of night vision i think just regular potion of night vision works and we should be able to Pop the pop this into an anvil, set our hotkey, and we should be ready to rock and roll. Should be able to. Perfect. Just one of these potions. Alright, and we'll take our helmet. Night vision? Bam. Now we have night vision. Okay, um for the options under controls for our dark steel. Um, I think you'll have to search Ender I.O. It'll be under the Ender I.O. section. Or un maybe under Dark Steel itself. I always forget. Um, okay, so there's Cork Tools. The One Probe? Inventory Health Tweaks. Okay, you have to be mod. There's our Dark Steel. Okay. So, we have night vision. It's automatically set to P. So... But P is already being used. So, we can't keep it at P. Um... Let's see, what can we use? X? X works. I'll use X. Um, let's put our helmet on first. There we go. Awesome. That will help out tremendously at night. Um, honestly, leaving it on, I'm perfectly fine with that. It'll make all of this brighter anyways. But yeah, that's so good. Okay. Um, back to getting our thing we need. Oh, it's a minor helmet. Oh, that's another another thing. I guess it lights it up. Um, yeah, back to the resource miner. Um, I think it's Void Resource Miner. I think we have everything but these lenses. And once I make a block of iron and a block of diamond? Right, are we doing the... That's the Void Resource or are we doing the mine? Oh, we need the resource. 
Oh, so we need we need in stone, nether rack, and mossy stone. What am I thinking? Okay, we got mossy stone. That's pretty simple. We need the resource miner. Um, I don't know if I have that. We still need this. Okay. I'm gonna need a glowstone. One piece and one piece of redstone. And our bucket. And we should be able to get both of the things that we need. Okay, there's our nether rack. There's our end stone. Perfect. And we can put all the stuff in there. Along with our clear glass. And I think we have everything to make it. Yeah, we do. Awesome. So we have our Void Resource Miner. Now let's accept our quest and get our items. Alright, and the next one is actually the Void Resource Miner. Um, we might have enough gold. Um, we have 36 gold grit and we just cooked up some. We might have enough to produce or be able to get that. If I turn this all back into gold, we'll see. We'll see how if we have enough to do that. But right now, I think we have to, I actually have to use gold for this guy. Okay, so uh, we now have access to the solar array. That's probably pretty expensive, I would think. Um, let's see how the cheapest solar array. A lot of a lot of gold. Um, and then basalt so basalt is probably a good thing to go with let's see it requires a lot of gold so we're going to need gold for our structure blocks and I think we need um, how many is it for the resource miner the base tier 24 and 24 times 2 is 48 so we're going to need 48 gold to be able to per, be able to make this thing, um, and then twenty machine bases, and I've actually forgotten how much it takes to make the machine bases. Um, I don't know, but let's check our quest book because this actually gives us this. I don't think it's going to give us anything else though. Doesn't really. I don't know if it says a task where a player has to craft a specific item doesn't really say does it say I wish it said somewhere that this actually progresses like it goes farther um, but it probably doesn't um, all right so let's go ahead and finish making this resource miner now that we have the stuff here uh, we need to let's get our tablet right here we need to check. I always have to check this. Okay, so machine base. Where is our machine base? Because I think it is a certain block as well. Okay. Modifier core. There's the machine base. So we have assault base okay so that's not actually too hard to make uh wait what was that okay just basalt how much basalt do we actually have twenty one basalt um it's not enough but I think we have enough for the hardened stone we just need to get some cobblestone basically basically it cobblestone uh, somebody was saying something about a cobblestone generator which I do have um, speaking of which which is right here so no need to worry about making cobblestone when I have it totally forgot about that okay let's throw that in there we'll get a bunch of stone cooking up 
Um, we may actually have a bit of stone in here. It's gonna take a take a while for this to go in there. Um, we also need to upgrade these chests. I don't know if I have the stuff to do that, but we'll definitely worry about that soon. Um, I think it's, I mean, everything's being stored in here. It's about full. Yeah, it's about full. You know what? Take this out. I don't want that going in there. That sounds like a bad idea. Alright, we can probably get some of this made up. Because we're going to need a lot of it. And at the moment, we only have four. Okay, so we don't have any stone. We do. It must be because it's in a separate chest is why it does that. I think that's the, the issue. So that'll only give us 15. We actually need, um, I think it's 24. 20 so we need 40 44 to make this and two laser cores and that okay how's it cooking okay we might actually have enough well no we will not we'll not have enough yet but we're getting close we have 25 we need a bit more I wish I could cook that up faster but it's not gonna happen okay um Anything else we can go ahead and make while we're waiting? Uh, we can probably go ahead and get our nuggets made up. I think we're going to need a few of those. We're going to need a bit of redstone. We're going to need some iron bars. Probably a couple. And then we should be able to make these. We don't, we have 20. So we're gonna need 20 of those. Only eight. Okay, what are we missing? Fifteen. We need five more. Oh, we're missing the iron bars. Okay, that's not what I meant to grab. We can always reclaim those. Five. That's twenty. So we're good there. Now we just need to go back to environmental tech and look at the hardened stone structure blocks. Um, so we just need a bunch of hardened stone. Which means we're going to need more of this. I need to get a chest. Don't actually have a chest. I have a small storage crate. Um, we're actually going to need to use the storage crate for this. Let's get a filter. I don't have one. Uh, item filter. Those dang tin plates. I need to make a bunch of tin plates. All right, let's get back into the hopper, or not hopper, but uh, Arden. I guess that's all that we currently have at the moment is 20. We need four more. Four more to make almost all of this. We might have enough now. Perfect. Four more. 
Okay, so we have all of that. Now we need to go back into the environmental tech. And we almost have this thing completely done. Um, I don't know if I have enough. Um, I need 24 of these. What am I missing? Oh wait, these are basalt. Ooh, I think I boo-booed. Um, let's just go down. I know where some basalt's actually at. So I can just mine some basalt away, actually, to, to do that. I should have just done that to begin with. There's some basalt over here as well. I just gotta be careful. Okay, I can head back. Alright, we I guess we'll just use basalt <laughs> and mix it. Um, because we only need three more. Three more of these guys. And we have everything we need. For that. Okay, next step. We are going to need the laser core. I think it's two of them. And a lens. And it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go for the white lens if I can. So we need a clear lens. And we need a to turn it into a white lens, basically. Um, the white lens should just be bone mill. Okay, white lens. Perfect. Um, I want that so we can get access to mica early on. And that's pretty good. Um... That should be enough stone for now. We almost have everything to set this up. Uh, the only thing I think we're going to need is some conduits. So let's grab our conduit out of here. And I would like to use this storage crate probably on it. I was also working on getting a filter. So I can go ahead and grab my... 10 did not go through. Why did it not go through? Oh, I have the wrong... I don't have the stamp. Okay. There we go. So that's done. All that's looking good. Now uh, we have our assembler in our hand. Let's double check. All right, two laser cores, clear lens, or any color variant. Okay, space required. A seven by four by seven, which I'm pretty sure we have that done. Uh, four high, perfect. Um, just wanna find the center of this area right here. One, one, two, three, four. I think that's this is the center right here. So I can go ahead and place this guy up here. And everything else, I should be able to build around it. Perfect. Okay. Um, I think all I'm waiting for is that hopper. So there's our tin. Or getting a filter. You'll you'll see what that's for here in just a second. I have everything? I do have paper. Okay. So we have a filter. We have all that. Awesome. This is already extracting up here. Just need one of those. I will take this guy. Set him right here. And set that to disabled. Set this to insert with a filter. And that should 
pull out those seeds whenever there's too many. They, if they fill this whole thing up, I think they go over here. Um, also, I noticed it looked like they're breaking blocks, but I've only noticed that since I re-logged. It doesn't look like anything's broken now, but... It looked like stuff was broken when I came back. Weird. Alright, so we're gonna see if we can't get power from this guy. Uh, this guy does have a limit on it. At the moment it was 200 input. Um, I might have to change that. So, let's go ahead and build this thing. Um, it's almost done. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Is there another one blocking it? I think so. I hate when it does that. Um, let me see. It disappeared, didn't it? It's going to keep doing that too. Oh, where did it go? Why does it do that? There we go. Okay. Now it should complete. Um, now the only thing I have to do is dig a hole all the way down to the bottom of the ground. I, I forgot about that. Oh, that's going to be fun. How am I going to do that? Okay, I need a bucket of water. Torch. Do some old vanilla Minecraft stuff right here. Clear out any valuables. Just in case I die. Want to make sure they're in here. Um, I guess I can use my drill. Take out our mining augment. And let's dig a hole to the ground. All right. Yeah, that should work. Hmm. It'd be nice to have a speed upgrade on this. I don't even know if this is the best idea. Yeah, this is gonna take a long time. All right, I'll be right back whenever I get this done. All right, so I'm done. I'm on my way back up. Almost there. Okay, finally. All right, Um. so that took a long time. Now I gotta let all this drain. As you can see, a hole all the way down. It actually went through the base. So... I did go into the base. Uh, I think... If I take my night vision... And I turn it off, which I... It's X. Yeah, that's why blocks look yellow. It's really dark. And if you hit night vision, it like makes the blocks look yellow. Okay, so now I can finish with the assembler. Let me go get my tool. With the environmental tech, there we go. I think that's about it. I just have to assemble this bad boy. Should say it's completed. There we go, multi-block assembly complete. Awesome. Um, now all I need is a chest, some way to store items. I think I'm just going to make a regular chest. Be fine. Fine for now. 
and our conduit. All right, power conduit. I don't think we need much because we're right by it. Okay, let's hook this guy up and it'll be really slow probably because uh, it's going to be getting power. Let's make sure this is set to insert power. So it's slowly filling up, but it is filling up. And I, I guess that could be in and out. Let me, uh, there we go. Actually works quite nicely. In and out. So that's going to pull power from that. Um, now we need to get a chest. Oh, you know what? This chest is not going to work. We're going to actually have to, to go with the actual additions. That'll probably be the best bet. So a small storage crate will probably be the best best bet at the moment. Um, chests. There we go. Okay, yeah, this will this will work a lot better. So we can actually open the inventory. All right, it should start exporting items into here. So we got some hardened clay already. Um, it's gonna be pretty slow. Um, and we don't have any modifiers, so there's no modifiers on this, but oh, we're getting some andesite, so we'll get andesite, cobblestone, things like that. Nothing really great, um, but I think next episode we're going to, I might want to get the uh, void resource miner up and going. And it actually doesn't look like it's pulling too much power, to be honest. I mean, these guys are filled up pretty good. Um, and this should be round robin. I don't think the fluid is round robin because there's. I would have to have like the advanced thing. I would. I need to break the connections on these guys. I think. I don't know. But I think some are filled up more. I don't know. Actually, it looks like it's going pretty good. Um, anytime I get canola, it seems to be working. And like, I'm getting quite a bit of canola. You know, these are working pretty good. So yeah, well, that's pretty awesome. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Don't forget to comment down below. I really like to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, thanks for watching.